All right, everybody, welcome to our late night break. Thank you all very much for jumping in. I really do appreciate it, and thank you for waiting. Um, I really do appreciate that. Uh, definitely misjudged the length of the movie, but uh, yeah, by about 15, 20 minutes, actually, so sorry about that. Let's see. All right, let's go over some. I don't think we have any trades here. Um, so I think we're good to go with getting our tags done and go over these teams and then bust these bat, this bad boy open, see what we got. All right. So we got Michael Lewis with the Giants, Dylan with the Panthers, Joe has got the Texans and Washington, Monte's got the Lions. Chris is the Titans, Dylan, Buccaneers, Joshua, Jaguars, Bruce, Browns, Nicholas, Patriots, Mark has the Bengals, JM, Joey with the Raiders, <laughs> can't have movie night and break, on break night, yeah, uh, well, fortunately, this this one took a little bit longer than I anticipated to fill, which kind of made me sad. But hey, that's all right. We got it done. It's full. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we were we were actually had just started the movie when I decided. Well, actually, you told me, hey, run a mini, and I'm like, eh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. And then that thing filled like instantly. So that <laughs> I think that really threw me for a loop here. So, yeah, here's what it is. But we got it done. We're going to get this bad boy broke. We're going to get to see what's in the box and who's taking what home. All right, so let's get back to this. We have, again, Chris has got the Titans. Dylan with the Bucks. Josh with the Jaguars. Bruce with the Browns. Nicholas with the Patriots. Mark with the Bengals. Steven with the Seahawks. Joey with the Raiders. That's where we were. Michael with the Eagles, Danny with the Rams, Monte, 49ers, JM, Colts, Gregory, Jets, Joshua, Bears, Nicholas, Dolphins, Michael, Vikings, Bruce, Broncos, JM, Ravens, Joe, Steelers and Chargers, Danny, Bills and Cardinals, Gregory, Packers, Michael Lewis, Chiefs, Nicholas, Falcons and Saints, and then Monte closes it all up with the Cowboys. All right. Um, on a bright side, I got my 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 city permits today are official, so I am officially a local business in Milledgeville, Georgia, um, in I should say historic downtown Milledgeville, Georgia, which is actually pretty free and cool. Um, so I got my permits. That's awesome. Uh, power got the power on yesterday. Getting water Monday. Internet's coming in next week sometime. I almost have the walls ready to paint, and uh, it is going, I think it's going to come together pretty quickly now. Um, I got those stupid circles off, thanks to JR, with the uh, the the little, little uh, input on the heat gun. I used that, and uh, took those things right off. It was awesome. Uh, Mike, I saw your comment about using the hairdryer. My wife actually got one of them funny hair dryers where it's actually a curler too, so it's not really a hair dryer. It is, but it isn't. It's kind of weird. Uh, so I don't think it would have worked. Thanks, Steve. I, you know, I've been busting my ass out there uh, every day trying to get it ready, get it done. And I tell you what, you can definitely tell it's an old building because I'm. So they. It's a brick building with a two by two by fours on the inside over the brick, uh, which is obviously put there afterwards after you know as the town grew and time went on. Because as I as I drive a nail into the wall, you can hear pieces of the old brick fall. It's just kind of like, oh, do I really want to hit that wall with the hammer? <laughs> um, yeah, but you you can hear the in. 
and then I took the baseboards off and you could see all the, the old mortar and brick dust coming out from under the walls. It's absolutely crazy. <clears throat> but fun, the process is awesome, absolutely. Um, I, I think it'll be well worth it, well worth it. So I, next, I, I have to figure out if I got my, my, my resale, my tax resale license with the city per permits and everything. That's the one thing I need to find out. I'm a little confused on that, whether that was part of all the permits and stuff like that that I had paid for, um, or do I have to do that with the state? Because I know I have to do the county stuff, and then I have to do state stuff too. So that might be one more step I have to do, get them resale tags. And then we'll be ready to roll. Then I can start. Con then I can really start contacting wholesalers. All right, let's go ahead and choose a jersey box. Let's see. I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't. I absolutely can't wait till it's up and running. I'm kind of, and I'm kind of. I was talking to the wife about it. We were talking about it. Do I want to set it up like a regular retail, or we've decided I'm going to set it up. It's going to be set up just like a man cave. It's going to be a shop that you walk in. It's all memorabilia all over the place. And it's not going to be set up like your regular retail store. It is going to be set up like you're walking into my break room. And that's how it's going to look. Just everything in there is going to be for sale. That's how it's going to be. Just <laughs> to get arrested, you'll be okay. <laughs> huh. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that, man. <clears throat> yeah, I want a nice, I do want a nice homey feel uh, when you walk in, and I don't want all that retail stuff in there. The only thing I'll have that's really retail looking is probably the the uh, the showcase where my register and everything will sit, and the rest, hopefully it's going to look like you're walking into my man cave. That's how I want it. All right, let me get these, let me get this box situated here. Uh, let's see. Jersey's radio. Go like this so you can see that. So what do we got? Nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shit, what was the last one we opened? Let me take a quick look. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a great way to put it, man. Just like Willy Wonka, but with sports memorabilia. That's absolutely awesome. The Willy Wonka of sports memorabilia. Uh, view my giveaways. Let's see. This was a couple days ago. So, two box, one jersey mini helmet jersey box sorry about this box number nine I thought I removed it get rid of that one get rid of this one alright so box number 12 will be the one we're opening. There we go. There it is. So box 12. Let's see. 4, 1, 11, 10. I actually got to stop moving some of this stuff down there. Awesome. I'm hoping maybe next week... We can do our first break from there. All right, so here we go. Let's do it. I don't think there were any trades. Let's try this one more time. Do 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 and no. So there we go. There's our teams. We are all locked and loaded with what we got. So let's do it. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. We'll start with the mini helmet first. Short sports.
Last one of these we hit was really good. Jerry Goff. So that was a nice hit, even though it was on a Rams helmet, of course. This is box number 37 out of 100. There's one. There's two. There is three. And we are going with... All right, our mini helmet. You'll trade after you see the mini helmet? <laughs> nice. Well, mini helmet is going to the Steelers. There's our empty box right there. I do believe this is a pretty good hit, because I think we got, and we do, Rocky Blair. Short sports. So this is a nice, nice mini helmet hit right here. Because we do have Rocky Blair on our speed mini. Let's see, you can see that right there. I like this hit. And it does have four times Super Bowl champ inscription. So Steelers going to Joe in spot number 24. Congratulations, man. That's a nice hit right there. That is very nice. All right, and short sports on the back. All right, here we go. Here's our jersey. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's a nice mini helmet. I like that one. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Don't cut the jersey. You met him before? That's cool. That's very cool. All right. Our next hit is going to, there's our empty box, and our jersey will be going to. That would be Tiki Barber Giants. So Giants hit for the jersey. Sorry, JM. Sorry, man. <clears throat> there is our JSA right there. Nice hit with the Tiki Barber. There is your signature. Nice signature there as well. There is your JSA right there. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, man. <clears throat> so, T. Barber going to. That would be. Where are you? Giants in spot number one. And that is Michael Lewis. Congratulations, man. Nice hit. <clears throat> uh, we have. <clears throat> excuse me. Seven jerseys left on this set. So that means, what do we got? We have three customs left and four licensed jerseys left. So not a bad, not a bad combination there. Not at all. There we go, Tiki Barber. <clears throat> All right. You want the Harrison Smith? That's a badass jersey. That's a nice jersey too. Um, I do believe that's a li that was a limited edition one as well. Um, I believe that's what it said when I grabbed it. So that's a very nice jersey. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for jumping in. I really do appreciate it, everybody. Um, have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the game. If you're going to watch it, that's going to be a great game. You're welcome, Joe. Um, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Um, I don't know why. It doesn't matter which. To me, it doesn't matter which one wins. Um, a lot of history going to be made in this game. It's going to be a very good night. Um so, I can't wait. I'm excited. Plus, we've been without 
without NFL for without football for a week now going on two weeks so and then we're going to be without for a little while so we're going to have to do football right here all right everybody thank you all so much have a great weekend and we will catch you on the next break